All right, good evening everybody. It's your boy Keenan. Welcome to today's vlog. We all have a sweet two tonight as we're going to watch the Sugar Bowl between Florida and Louisville. Now this is going to be an interesting matchup and there's a little bit of an old underlying coaching theme at that with head coach Charlie Strong because he used to be an assistant at Florida so he's familiar with the SEC territory and how well Florida can perform. Now Florida has a great head coach and Will Muschamp orchestrate this team to an, 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 a ten, um, double digit win a 10 win season and only one loss now this this team Florida they have a great resume one of the best resumes in the nation but they had a couple of puzzling results especially during this season when they had close wins over Louisiana Lafayette and Missouri but they had big wins against Texas A&M South Carolina LSU and in their season finale against Florida State I like this team a lot and they're led by quarterback Jeff Jusco now he has just over on um, two two thousand yards of total offense, just under 1,500 yards passing, 11 touchdowns, and 3 interceptions, while on the ground he had 404 yards. Now a lot of people are already comparing him to Tim Tebow. He is not at Tim Tebow's level. Yes, he does have the most yards as a quarterback in a game. When he played against Vanderbilt, 177 yards rushing. That is a school record for a quarterback. I will give him some props for that, but he is in total comparison for Tim Tebow. Tim Tebow won two national championships. He, was, he is a dual threat like Tim Tebow, but not at the skill level and the heart and the determination and a leader like Tim Tebow. I think a lot of people need to stop comparing him to Tebow. Now they have he has a couple of good players surrounding him, particularly at the tight end position. He has one he has his leading receiver and tight end Jordan Reed. He's a big target at six foot three, two hundred and forty three pounds. He had five hundred and fifty two yards receiving and three scores. He's a big good target for Driscoll in the passing game. Now, along with the running game with Jeff Driscoll, their leading rusher is Mike Gillespie, 4.7 yards per carry, and he has over 1,000 yards this season. He's a workhorse running back, and a lot of people, including myself, had him as a sleeper earlier this season for this year's Heisman Trophy. He's been carrying his team to a couple of good victories, particularly on that LSU game in which he rushed for over 100 yards in a couple of scores. He's a great running back. Now, on the defensive side, they allow 12.9 points per game. They have a lot of speed on defense, particularly on the secondary with Matt Elam, Josh Evans, J um, Jalen Watkins, and Marcus Robertson. They have a lot of great secondary players, and they're going to play be a little bit of a hard time for Chetty Bridgewater and that passing attack of Louisville. Now, for Louisville, they have, I just mentioned, Teddy Bridgewater. He has a lot of heart, and he, was a, he had a great season, 3,400 yards passing, 25 touchdowns, and seven, seven interceptions, and he is a tough kid, and I mentioned that he had a lot of heart. He helped his team win, win a big of the Big East Championship at Rutgers 20-17. to 17. He played in that game with a sprained ankle and a broken wrist and he still passed for 263 yards and two touchdowns. He is a great quarterback, all Big East, and I'm looking forward to see what, what's going to happen in these next two seasons, uh, uh, probably one season if he goes in the NFL after a junior season, but two more years of college football eligibility, I cannot wait to see him, how he performs. He can make it to New York. It depends if he keeps on improving and throughout his career in college football. Now on the defensive side, their defense is averages 23.6 points per game. They're not as good as, as Florida State defense, but their offense parks up 30 points per game compared to just 25 for Florida. So it's kind of evenly matched. Now the keys for this matchup are the turnover margins. Actually, the plus, um, um, Florida has a plus 17 turnover margin compared to plus 9 for Louisville. So Florida State commits a lot of turnovers, and Louisville's going to have to do well at that. Even, with, even I think, at most, they're going to have to create better pass rushing uh, attacks with Lorenzo Malden and Marcus Smith. They're going to have to get to uh, uh, Jeff Driscoll. Same for Florida State. They don't have any premier pass rushers this season. So that means Dominic Easley, linebacker, linebacker John Bostick, they're going to have to step in up in this matchup. And the pass rushing attack is going to be very key in this game. This particularly for Florida because they have because Teddy Bridgewater is a great passer and they have a good passing attack for uh, Louisville. Now going back to Louisville, they're going to get that ground game together. You have to get, have to get right and parry the ball. They have decent running backs and they're going to have to pound the rock hard against that tough defense. And this is going to be a great game at that. And then that ground attack for Louisville is going to have to step it up a lot. Now for this matchup, I'm going to actually go with Florida because they have way too much talent on the defensive side. I think they're going to hold Teddy Bridgewater. I mentioned the turnover margins, mainly because of that secondary, and they get a lot of interceptions. Even John Bostick has six, 
three interceptions this season at the linebacker position. And I already mentioned you those four corner, those um, four defensive backs for Florida. I think they're going to stop the passing attack and commit some turnovers and really put the ball in the hands of Teddy, Teddy Bridgewater. He's going to have to force to hand the ball over. Like I said, that ground game for Louisville is going to be key. They're going to have to step up in order to keep a balanced offense and help out Teddy Bridgewater and his passing ability. But because of that secondary of Florida, I have to go with the Gators in, the, in this one. They pretty much have the home field advantage. It's in New Orleans at Southeastern Conference Territory. Florida knows that very familiar SEC champions a couple of times on uh, national championship back in 1996. This is a tough uh, opponent for um, Louisville, and I think it's going to be way too much for the Cardinals. So I'm going to go with Florida over Louisville. This is going to be a great Sugar Bowl matchup. Now, next time to catch you guys is tomorrow to give you a preview of the Fiesta Bowl between Kansas State and Oregon. Thank you for watching this vlog. I'm your man, Keenan McCall. Be easy.